Hello Cancer, welcome back. We are going to check in with any important messages for you. Let's see what is going on, what you need to hear around this time. There will be an extended at the end of the video. Uh, your purchases are always greatly appreciated. You can find the link in the description box below. All right, what do we need? Oh, we got the Cancer card coming through. How beautiful. This is a beautiful deck that I've received from one of my uh, viewers. So uh, the Cancer card, there you go. But it comes with the heartbreak. Por qué? Sound frequency and regret. Now, this could just be you regretting some things. It does not have to be in regards to love, but it could be that maybe you missed out some type of opportunity or you're missing someone. You're missing someone in particular. It could be, um, it could be even a family member. I feel like you've been doing a lot of healing in regards to this. Um, maybe you're listening to music or you're listening to songs, maybe even sad songs that remind you of, um, of something. And let's see what more. I feel like you're definitely doing a great job healing this. Here we have the lover's card with the uh, eight of cups. You may have recently left someone that you have a very deep connection with and songs keep, keep on coming up and it, it keeps on reminding you and maybe you're questioning now like you're feeling a little bit of regret. Uh, there is definitely some type of soul recognition here that you have with this person. Like the moment that you met them, you felt something very deep and sincere. But maybe out of protection, you decided to walk away because you didn't really get the, um, the right answers here. The person could be a Leo or you could have met this person during the Leo season. Let's see. What is the uh, situation for cancer, please? Okay, so beautiful. Look at this, Ace of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, and the Nine of Cups. You're about to get some type of a job opportunity or money that's going to make you feel really happy. Some of you may receive a gift from your family, and this is something that you've been always wanted. It could be something emotional, like an emotional gift, or um, just in regards to money matters, but it's definitely coming from from family and this is something that is really going to make you feel very happy there is definitely also like a prosperous new beginning here something that you've been working towards to some type of manifestation that's coming around we've got the moon we've got the six of cups and we've got the four of wands Wow. Why is the moon card here? In this case, I don't even feel like the moon is a bad energy here. It, yeah, exactly. The two of cups. What did I say? It feels like uh, you and someone specific, you have a very strong emotional tie and, and a special bond. With the moon, it could be that both of you don't really talk a lot about emotions and feelings, but it's very strong. It's like, it's like the tie. And I feel like with the Six of Cups and the Four of Wands, you, you may have definitely found your true match here, or you're about to. There is definitely someone that comes in here with the Ace of Pentacles that you feel like, okay, this is, this is the right person. I feel secure emotionally and... You may be trying to hide this, right? Like maybe you ha you're hiding this from a lot of people. You're not really broadcasting them. You're keeping it quite to yourself. But I'm seeing a lot of good things. So I don't know why you have this heartbreak. Because here we have the Queen of Cups even at the bottom of the deck. Emotionally, you, f you feel like this person is nurturing you. And you have a lot of deep feelings. However, I see a heartbreak here. I don't know why. Why is a heartbreak here? Five of Swords and the Fool. Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. And 
and the tower. <sighs> Four of Cups. Again, the Eight of Cups at the bottom. What is this talking about? It's like complete opposite energies. Complete opposite energies. Maybe... Maybe when you both start to dealing with one another or there was a time maybe last week or two weeks ago when, when there was a lot of foolish behavior here, when there was a lot of ego at play and things happened un unexpectedly or there was like a big fallout, uh, there could have been some type of arguing or a fight, something that left you a little bit disappointed and with like sour feelings. And this might be something that you are now healing, but overall, what I'm seeing here on your end is that all of it is going to get better. Like maybe you're, you've experienced this in the recent past where a lot of the dark energies kind of like came at play, could have been because it's like, it was like the, uh, the eclipse. So a lot of the dark energies and people's dark side or the shadow side could have been coming out. And that left you a little bit with a broken heart. However, it, it just feels like there is some type of healing going on, right? Like it's time to leave that situation in the past. Uh, obviously, with the five of swords, the tower and the four of cups and a heartbreak, it, it's not that easy, right? Uh, to just say like, okay, whatever, let's move on, move on from that. However, I just feel like there is a big opportunity coming in here. Um, see sound frequency you got the star and the king of cups so again this person maybe even an um a singer or they may have write you a song or they are sending you a song for you to heal maybe this was like a passing period where there was just a lot of dark stuff or just the shadow that just came out in play that left you a little bit like in a in an apathy but it looks like this person the king of cups is very determined to heal this you know they have a lot of hope in the situation they um, they really see you as their uh, their wish coming true here and the world like really coming together you both have been through a lot and i feel like this person is now learning a lesson about their ego about their uh, selfish behavior and they're ready to show you that they truly will be there to care for you here we have the lover's card i mean let me know what this heartbreak was it's definitely something that happened suddenly and really struck you in some type of sense however what is coming in for you is a lot of love uh, that's what i'm seeing like even though you fear it you're like trying to be careful here with this person like you don't want to fall into illusions because you've seen a part of them that wasn't that pretty but this person is ready to show you a part of them that is really very sensitive and pretty, <laughs> you know, fear ace of cups. I mean, like you have a lot of beautiful cards wanting to come through. So, yeah, maybe this is the person that is feeling a lot of regret for breaking your heart, for um, giving you some BS here with the tower, because that could be like very sudden shift of someone's energy that could lead you to being a little bit shocked of a situation as in like whoa i did not expect this coming yeah let's see what more for cancer please joy look at this you have wonderful energies coming through for you and if this is not happening right now it's absolutely going to happen during your uh, during your season so maybe because we have the cancer card there so maybe it's a message saying like you gotta kind of like keep on having faith because things are about to really shift for you cancer absolutely you're you're moving from um from a period where you were really mad about things and really disappointed into a phase of a lot of happiness and joy like emotional bliss is coming up for you and it's not going to be only you it's together with someone that truly cares for you 
And I feel like this person is ready to take on the world to show you like, hey, I have some regrets. So maybe during this time, yeah, maybe during this time you may need to take some time off for yourself, do a little bit self-care, self-love type of energy, um, make sure that you clear out this heartbreak, you heal it in the, in the best possible way. If you have been waiting for this person to come back around, Spirit is saying like time is just an illusion. So don't um, hang on to like when this is exactly going to happen. Just make sure that you take care of yourself. You take care of whatever this is that broke your heart so you can heal and move forward and be open to receive this person's energy. We have time to wake up. Epiphany. An epiphany is coming in. It could be that this person is the one that is about to wake up and see that the way that they've treated you has not been quite fair for them or for you and for this connection. Because seeing the moon there, it, it just feels like it's the yin and the yang. Like you both are being attracted to one another. There is also like a past life connection here. Wow, look at this. Look at this. You, you both are going to have a new beginning. Ace of Wands, King and the Queen of uh, Pentacles. And this time, this beginning is going to be so much more serious, so much more grounded, so much more uh, focused on uh, practicality and how to keep this connection alive. Uh, I see that both of you may start even a new project together, something creative, and there is a willpower from both ends to have this new start. It's not coming from just one person, it's coming from both ends. So absolutely, I see a very positive twist in your life. Faces and cycles. There is a beginning within every ending. Illusions are revealed and released. So you may have thought that this person did not really care about you. That could be with the moon. There could be a lot of illusions and kind of like um, this person may have kept it quite a secret that they were in love with you, but now it's coming all out. Like this is going to be the conversation where someone is going to tell you how they truly feel and that they really care about you, that they feel comfortable around you. See, from a higher perspective, the eagle. So you're being asked to have like a more helicopter view to kind of like step out of this painful energy and to see the bigger picture, right? Like this person wants to show you the bigger picture, may even want to show you the world, but yeah, embrace the energy of peace. So if this person comes in, you may need to forgive them. And I do see you still a little bit in this despondent energy, which is kind of like a bit mad about the situation and what happened, but yeah, you're being asked to work on having a peaceful connection because things are going to be shifting very, very soon for you. That's what I have for you, my friends. I hope that this message resonates for you, Cancer. If this has resonated, you may want to check the extended reading and I'll catch you guys over there or else next week. Take care of yourself. Bye.